Hi! So, getting ready for my trip again, once I, like I said. Um, but I am about to color my hair. So here is the color right now. Roots, awesomeness, gray, yuck. Ugh. It's just getting really brassy looking too. Um, but my roots are showing, the gray is showing, and that's never a good thing. So I'm going to color that. And, and this is the after. So it's kind of, um, it's actually got some reddish tint looking to it, I think. But I don't know, it's hard for me to see <laughs> very much. But there you go. That is it, the new look. All right, so we're at Chewy's meeting up. It happened for lunch, and I'm just waiting for Autumn because she's in her car, and I went inside looking for her. But anyway, um, this song is hilarious. It just brings me back to high school. This album was My Boyfriend and I's High our, our album of our songs is really funny. I haven't heard it. This particular song in ages. Finished Chewies and now we are in Starbucks. Yeah, thank you. There should be one more. Thank you. There we go. Guys, I just can't even. These flowers are so pretty. And I love the fact that they're all Mardi Gras colors. It's just so awesome. Guess where we are? What? Yes, that's right. Two days off and both days I've been in universe. Have come down, you guys. It's Betty Boops. I wonder if that's gonna still be Betty Boop or if it's gonna change too. And be Hello Kitty! Oh my gosh, seriously, I wouldn't have flipped out when I was little. I loved Hello Kitty and my melody and they were so awesome. Oh my gosh, there's a chandelier. What? There is a chandelier in that that's <laughs> so cool. It's gonna be so fun. Anyway, this is supposed to be the Hello Kitty store and it's supposedly supposed to be interactive. We're thinking kind of like the... <gasps> my melody! Ah! <laughs> They're so cute! The bunnies are my melody. Oh, so cute. Anyway, yay! Wait, where's her... Where's her face print? I think it's over there in front of the door. Is it in front? Did we miss it? I didn't see it. All right, we gotta go back. So supposedly, um, Hello Kitty signed her name in the concrete in front of the door, or somewhere. I don't know where it is, I didn't see it. It would make sense since it's blocked off here, let's see. No, I don't know where it is. Okay, we'll have to keep looking there, for it. I don't know if you can see because it's kind of bright, but Hello Kitty has signed her name in the concrete. It is so cute. And the little paw prints and our little bow. And I just noticed this too. The awnings are all covered in Hello Kitty bows. That's so cute. I love it. Sorry, a little shaky. I'm holding a coffee cup into a gorgeous day it is. It's so pretty. Here in Hollywood. So apparently there's no longer a downtime. This is Thursday. It is Thursday, right? It's a Friday. It's Friday? Okay, it's Friday. So right, normally they're a little bit. Oh. Here he is, George. He's so cute. But this is crazy. This is middle of February. People have school. We don't understand. It's crazy. So we popped into the prop shop to see what's going on. Oh, the pink pill hat. I think I should wear this on my trip. I love it. Very cute. Oh my gosh, look at it. See, if you look at like the prices of this stuff, like these are $14.95 for those like old fashioned ones. A clotted trinket box for $44.95. I don't even know what those are, but they're super few. Wow. Old photography things. Alright. Oh, look at all the Hardy Girl stuff you got. Oh, there's a whole ton of masks. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Very cool. That's only 1995 too. That would be cool to put on the wall. I know. Look at like these. Yep. Yeah, that is really pretty. I love these. They're awesome. Holy cow. Okay, seriously, those are not for sale, right? Because no way. <gasps> Look at these. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at those. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Those are so cool. And that's those crazy, like, 
did go. So we decided to come on Woody's Nut House coaster because Men in Black was extremely long. E.T. is 50 minutes long right now. Do you think I'm kidding when I'm saying that there's no downtimes? I don't know what's going on. It's crazy. The park is nuts. But this is what he went Fun House Coaster, which we only went on the first time with David, and it was such a blast. It was really, really, really fun. So it's kind of like Barnstormer, but it doesn't hurt you the way Barnstormer does. We're still trying to catch up. Yeah, I know. We're still in season five. Okay, you guys are happy. <laughs> we got made it to the Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, that was interesting. It's a nice little relaxing Don't kids ride by the ramp sign attraction, a thing. Nope, not permanent. It's still temporary because the sign. But it's really cool because you can go in and then you put your camera right here. And we're suddenly in Hollywood. So cool. Yeah, let me zoom in. Check it out. Karen and Allison, we're coming to see you. And Rob. Hulk update, you guys. Look, the hoop, the back loop is up. Woohoo! That looks awesome from here. It's your story. Is that okay? Oh, excellent! Then everybody get coffee? And let's begin. Way back in the days when the grass was still green and the pond was still wet and the clouds are still clean. And the song of the swami swat sprang out in space. One morning the wrestler, he came to this place. And I first saw the trees, all those trivia trees. All my life I've been searching for trees such as these. The touch of their tusks was much softer than silk. And they had the sweet smell of fresh butterfly milk. In no time at all, I had built a small shop, and I chopped down a trumpular tree with one chop. And with great skillful skill, and with great speedy speed, I took myself tough, and I knit a need. The instant I finished, I heard a good up. I looked. I saw something pop out of the stuff of that tree I chopped down. It was sort of a man. Describe him? That's hard. I don't know if I can. Who am I? He asked with a sawdusty sneeze. Who am I? I'm the forest. Guardian of the forest, I speak for the trees. And then he became quite loud as he puffed. He was very upset as he shouted and huffed. With more acts, I said, there's no cause for alarm. I chopped just one tree. I am doing no harm. You have been warned, he cried. I speak for the trees. I'm busy, I told him. Shut up if you please. Oh, I meant no harm, I most surely did not. But I had to grow bigger, so bigger I got. I bigger my factories, I bigger my roads. I bigger my wagons, and I bigger the loads. Of those skis I stripped down, I was shipping the forth. To the south, to the east, to the west, to the north. 
And for your information, you Lorax, my figure, I'm bickering and bickering and bickering and bickering, turning more than jugular trees in the seas, which everyone, everyone, everyone needs. Which way does a tree fall? He then asks solemnly. A tree falls the way it leads. Be careful which way that you lead. Outside in the fields came a sickening smack of an axe on the tree, and we heard the tree fall. The very last truffula tree of them all. But there's good news, my friends. A message to share. The Lorax knows change starts with you if you dare. Just one tiny seed. It's all we really need. Imagine me build flower and tree. Unless someone like you cares a whole lot a lot, but it's going to get better. It simply would not. So be kind to the trees and be kind to our earth. Yes, you make the difference. Show the world what it's worth. you guys are going to be like, uh, duh. But I never usually like, like, caramel apples or whatever because you have to bite them and, like, uh, and then just, it's really hard. Like, it hurts. It hurts the palate of my mouth. So, but Universal, they'll cut them up for you. So, Autumn and I got a snack and she got, um, Rice Krispie treats and I was, like, more thirsty than anything and I was like, oh, maybe I'll just get a caramel apple. And they cut it up. Oh, my gosh. It was so delicious. It was just regular caramel apple. They have all different kinds and flavors and whatever. But I like caramel. So it was really good. I was like, this was a really awesome idea. So anyway, that was it. Um, out. Um, going to bed. i got to be up early tomorrow for work. So hope you guys have a great night. We will see you tomorrow. And remember, it is all part of the plan. Good night.